It's been one week since a young woman was shot and killed in her running car in North St. Louis. Right now, police are still looking for her killer. New tonight, Five In Your Side's Robert Townsend talks to the woman's loved ones. Her family says Kashayla Wellington touched many lives with her bright smile and caring personality. Even though she was only 20, she, she was a giant already. And she had a giant heart. Kim Stewart says her niece enjoyed being her mother's caretaker and worked as a security guard at this Schnucks supermarket near Gravoy and South Grand. Kashayla wanted to become a St. Louis police officer and a professional boxer. Kashayla was so goal-oriented. But on December 29th, her dreams ended tragically. Police say just after five that morning, they found Wellington dead behind the wheel of her silver Chevy Impala near North Kings Highway in Dr. Martin Luther King Drive. Her car still running. A mile and a half from home. But she was almost home. Stewart says detectives told family members they reviewed video taken from surveillance cameras at the intersection, which showed someone pulled up next to Wellington's car fired multiple shots, and then sped off. Kashayla, shot in her head, died one month before her 21st birthday. This is such a tragedy for our family, for my little sister, because they literally took an angel from us. Wellington was also a beloved member of North City Church of Christ. So she was always trying to uh, uh, become something better and something more. A police spokesperson says right now detectives are still working leads in this case, but at this point they have not arrested Wellington's killer. We want justice for her. She did not deserve this. Robert Townsend, five on your side. A lot of these... Um as we call them dykes, man, we call them dykes or doms, man. I don't know what they call them now, but a lot of these dykes or doms in the black community, they take on the persona of a male. So as a, a white dom or a white dot, a white Oh, I've seen white doms and I've seen white um dykes. They got the buzz cut, fade. They wearing flannel shirts or suit jackets and you know casual suit jackets with like a you know what I'm saying a goddamn shirt under it and some jeans. They wearing a, a blazer with jeans. Cause they they a white dyke and they trying to look like a white guy. When black women go dyke or dumb and they trying to look like a guy and act like a guy, they trying to look like a fucking thug and act like a fucking thug. Press one. loved member of North City Church of Christ. So she was always trying to uh, uh, become something better and something more. A police spokesperson says right now detectives are still working leads in this case, but at this point they have not arrested Wellington's killer. We want justice for her. She did not deserve this. Robert Townsend, five on your side. And RP to that girl, man. I believe everything they said about her being a good person. But oftentimes those girls, they get themselves into trouble because they jump in and out of being a nigga. One minute they a nigga, one minute they all hard, the next minute they a girl. And they calling some niggas to fuck some nigga up that, that they jumped out there. They jumped out there with a nigga and the niggas like, what's up? And then they call some other niggas to go get him because it's like... She remembers she a girl now. So you gotta be so so they get themselves in trouble sometimes, man. And page at 3 p.m. She was a great mom. What she did, she did it for that baby.
Now, Tatiana Fitzpatrick's two-year-old daughter and her mom, Libby Anderson, have to live without her. She had a big personality. If you seen her, you, you was going to love her. She didn't have any enemies. Which only makes her family wonder, why? Why would someone kill her? They say she was my best, my, my best friend. I was her best friend. Memphis police say the 24-year-old was shot and killed while sitting outside this gas station in Raleigh. Surveillance video showed her looking at her phone while six men were playing dice when the men started shooting. Now, 18-year-old Marvin... Okay, so she was just sitting there. She was in the mix. She was at this place right here. And listen, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. I hate to um, blame. Listen, I'm not going to blame the victim. All I must do is for other people in the future. If you're at one of these places, right, and you see black, a group of young black men doing something highly competitive, like shooting dice. You know what I'm saying? And you just think you're going to sit in your car and look at your phone. Like you just pull. I don't know if she was with them. I don't know if she was around. I don't know if she was just a bystander. But that's a scene. Anywhere near a dice game, you don't want to be near that. Because what if somebody come up and rob the dice game? Or in this case, there's an argument and they start shooting at each other. I feel bad for the girl, man. She was proximal as a motherfucker, though, man. Proximal as a motherfucker. That was her best friend. Memphis police say the 24-year-old was shot and killed while sitting outside this gas station in Raleigh. Surveillance video showed her looking at her phone while six men were playing dice when the men started shooting. Now, 18-year-old Marvin Watkins is at 201, charged with reckless homicide in Fitzpatrick's death. This kid looked like he about 5'5". Five, five. He about 5'5". Five, five. 18 years old, about 5'5". Five, five. And he going to get a chance to live a long life because he's going to be incarcerated. Any nigga shooting dice in front of a gas station and then pull out a gun and start shooting randomly. That kid is not likely to make it long on the streets. So now this kid gets to go to prison. He gets to come out in 20 years. Or even early if somebody at the Innocence Project find a loophole in his case. And he get to, he get to come out a man, a more mature man who probably will make who have who you know what I'm saying may make better decisions slightly, but just enough to you know keep his head on his shoulders. But no way this kid survives five, ten years living like this on the street. So getting locked up is gonna save his fucking life. Salute to um Muramasa, man, Ock Nation Hall of Fame. He says. Them stud girls be totally different in the bed, though. Always more ladylike. Ha <laughs> ha. I never had one, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm, I'm sure. I'm positive of it because they are girls. They just a girl. It ain't like they taking hormones or nothing like that. They ain't taking hormones. They had no surgery. So yeah, I'm sure you. I sure you're right, man. When the men started shooting, now 18 year old Marvin Watkins is at 201, charged with reckless homicide in Fitzpatrick's death. Yeah, WREG has uncovered that Watkins' arrest is connected to a string of stolen cars across the city. Watkins and these three men, along with a 14 and 15-year-old, have all been... A bunch of short little dudes, man. All these little, little short little guys, man. Running around terrorizing the city, man. String of stolen cars across the city. Watkins and these three men, along with a 14 and 15 year old, have all been arrested for stealing cars in the past two weeks. Memphis police saying a Crime Stoppers tip 
led them to Watkins, which eventually led to the reckless homicide charge. She was, well, you know, my only baby. She was my everything. In Raleigh, Shay Simon, WREG News, Channel.